Student loan debt versus business startup debt. I got this question from Young Crypto. If you're watching this, what's up? It's a very good question. Should you go into debt vis-a-vis -vis going into the brainwashing academy or should you start a business? Now, this question I'm about to give you doesn't apply to everybody. It all depends on who you are, what goals do you have, what type of person you are, how you're wired, how do you view the world, and uh, what you value the most. I'm assuming, young crypto, that you are a young entrepreneur. I'm assuming that. I may be wrong, but I'm assuming that. Let me put this out of the way. Okay. You guys know me. My take on debt is specifically for students that I think for the most part, post-secondary education, so university and college is a scam. It has failed everybody. I mean, everybody. Unless you want to become a specialty trade, meaning lawyer, doctor, engineer, something that needs regulatory approval with a license, and you have a very specific track that you know you're starting from high school, then going into university, then maybe you're going into medical school, law school, etc. Unless you're doing that, the rest of post-secondary school is a waste of your time for the most part. That's my take on it. I think, I think post-secondary has completely failed you. Absolutely. High tuition, impossible to pay back. And for the most part, the whole purpose of school is this. The whole purpose of school is to teach you to think for yourself is to give you very tangible skills. And with these tangible skills, to go into the marketplace or the workforce to be productive. And through you being productive and adding value, you get a good salary so you can pay off your student loans and live comfortably. That doesn't happen. People aren't getting hired. Why? Because post-secondary doesn't teach you skills. They don't teach you to think for yourself. And you get in this big grave of debt that you can never pay back, ever. It's something like over a trillion dollars of student debt is owed. None of that's gonna get paid back. The next bubble to burst is a student debt bubble, 100%. And so the question going back to student loan versus business startup debt, listen, listen to this, listen to this. If your plan is to start a business, don't go to school, don't go to any post-secondary. I would recommend first, depending on your age, is to first join a startup. Join as a hustler. Join as an intern. Join as somebody that works for free. Who gives a fuck? The skills that you learn in a fast-paced startup within six months exponentially is 10 times better than any school can teach you, exponentially. Then once you've learned your crash course in a startup, then you can figure out what you want to do. Now, business startup debt is great. Majority of businesses need to go into debt for their business to be successful and to scale. Now, there's a fundamental difference between startup loan and business loan. You can claim bankruptcy on business loan. You can't claim bankruptcy on your student loan whatsoever. And so depending on what kind of business you want to start, I'm a firm believer in the lean canvas model. You don't need to raise a lot of money. You can pre-sell your product. You can do a lot of pre-due diligence and do more work before you actually start. And so if I was a young entrepreneur, young hustler, I would definitely work six months to a year in a startup, learn my craft, build my network, understand what's going on. And once you absorb that information, internalize and understand the industry that you're working in, then I would make your move for the startup. And there's so many different ways you can get, you can go to angel investors, you can do self-funding. Maybe your business doesn't take that much capital and you can get products on consignment, but my take on student loan debt versus business startup debt, I would never go into student loan debt ever for, for something that's not specific like doctor, lawyer. But even then, man, like I know doctors who are $400,000 in debt, they're never going to fucking pay that back. $400,000 in debt. They're not paying that back at all. It's ridiculous. It's a joke. You know, eight years of your life. <clears throat> you know, we blink and you're 40. I'm 33, 34. I'm going to blink, I'm going to be 44. I'm going to blink, I'm going to be 55. Who the fuck wants to spend quarter of your life in school? It's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. So I hope this answers your question, Young Crypto. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.